Hi everyone, this is Denise. Welcome to Weight Loss Diaries. I'm your Friday vlogger. Um, okay, I have a lot to tell you and I'm going to try to do it in a little bit of time. <laughs> First I'm going to tell you what my weight is. Last week I didn't weigh in, pleading the fifth, taking a break. I've been taking a break for the last couple weeks I think, maybe three actually. Um, my weight is up 0.6. I weigh in at 246.2, which is, I think the last time was 248. I mean, 246.245.8, whatever 0. 0.6 difference is. I'm terrible at math. I suck at math. Um, so I'm up 0. 0.6, but I'm okay with that because I haven't really been taking a break, like I said, so that's okay. Um, the second thing is that, as you know, I've been reading lots of books on um, different approaches to weight loss born out of the reality that I believe I'm food ad addicted um, I think we all are honestly I don't think actually I don't think that there's anybody who's not addicted to something even if you're healthy and you're not overweight and you're not a drug addict and you're not an alcoholic you're still addicted to something maybe it's exercise <laughs> maybe it's you know, I don't know. It's something that you that you obsess about. Everybody is obsessive. I just really don't think that anybody is not obsessive about something or addicted to something. I just think it's a human nature, a human quality. I just, I don't know. I'm just coming to that realization. Anyway, for me, what I'm getting out of all these books is that for me, some foods are just way, way, way too hard to handle. And I've heard that in the past, but I was always of the mindset, well, I don't want to do anything that's not realistic. And to me, you know, cutting out something that I absolutely love is just unrealistic to me. Well, I have to rethink that. Because I really think that it's sabotaging my my progress. So, um, I really, what I'm reading is that it, the approach to being healthy, especially where, you're, where sugars and carbohydrates are concerned, especially highly refined carbohydrates and sugars, and highly processed foods are that it's really better to eat whole foods in their natural state as much as possible and nothing processed. I think that that approach for me is really going to make a difference. Um, so let's see, this thing is making too much noise. <laughs> Um, so that's what I'm getting out of the books. I do believe that I have a food addiction. I do believe that I have a problem with it. But I think that um, switching up what I eat is going to help a lot. Getting rid of the sugar, um, the pasta. We eat a lot of pasta. Getting rid of some of those things um, and filling up on more whole foods, natural foods, proteins, big on protein. Um, I think that's really going to help a lot. And there's a few people out there in YouTube land that do that and I'm following your videos and trying to get some ideas from you and some recipes so if anybody knows of some great vegetable recipes especially that are not laden with sauces um, especially flour based sauces just um, real good seasoned kind of vegetables that I'm very interested in in those if you could pass those along that would be awesome I need some veggie help <laughs> So um, now I'm going to Disneyland. I'm going to Disneyland next Friday and I'll be gone for five days coming back the following Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday I think. Um, so I, I will be posting a video up next week before I leave but I won't be doing anything that week as far as diet goes. I'm just going to be on vacation. So I'm not really anticipating much but this week I'm going to try to shed a few pounds. I'm going to try to maintain it on my vacation just naturally from walking around the parks so much. Um, that tends to happen. Plus we don't have any money to snack at Disneyland. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to we're gonna buy food and stick it in a mini fridge. <laughs> so hopefully I won't actually gain any weight that week but I don't really have a plan. Um, this week I'm go going to the topic of the week. This month I'm going to commit to exercise. No matter what I'm doing with my eating habits, I'm going to commit to exercising the whole month. And I want to get in at least three times a week, but my ultimate goal is five. Um, that would be Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So that's the goal. Three times a week, but ultimately five for the whole month. Um, now, the day, the week that I'm in Disneyland, I'm going to consider walking at the park for three of those days, three days. But on the days when I'm home for the rest of that week, I'll be doing some exercise too, hopefully to get up to my five. 
um, I think walking around a park all day long can can be considered at least some kind of activity for the day. Um, let's see, I told you my weight is at, I told you my topic of the week, I told you kind of my game plan, it's, um, it's very similar to Weight Watchers old program, the um, core program, it's very similar to that. Um, in fact, I was using some of my Weight Watchers books to look up some of the um, old information from my old books. They combined the two programs now and they don't actually have the core program, but if you um, follow Weight Watchers and you're looking at I believe it's the um, filling foods choices. That is basically what core was, and those are whole foods in their unprocessed state. I've noticed. Um, so if you're doing Weight Watchers and you like that approach, that's a great way to go. Um, and then I want to say thank you to everybody who posted uh, videos for Weight Loss Diaries 2, who submitted for a spot. Um, thank you so much. I personally went through, when we did the vote, I went through and I selected five videos, if you had five videos, to review. Then I selected five videos to review and I set a criteria for each video based on what I think would be um, um, good for the group. And I think that one of the thing, one of the criteria was very important that I stick with what Patty had as a criteria for us when we first started and that was that you're doing something sane. <laughs> that you're doing something healthy and not starving yourself or do some, or doing something crazy like that for weight loss. That you're actually doing it in a healthful way. Um, so that was one thing and then there's some other criteria. But I just wanted to let you know that we really did take it very seriously and we really reviewed everybody. Um, and it was a lot of fun. So thank you so much for submitting them and good luck to everybody. And again, you know, if you're not part, part of the Weight Loss Diaries or Weight Loss Diaries 2 as a vlogger, you can still do the topic of the week. You can still vlog right along with us on your personal channel. Um, so that would be great if, if y'all could do that because we follow so many of you. We go and we look at your posts and see what's going on. I mean, it's really it's just all of us supporting each other no matter who's doing what or who's on what channel or whatever um, it's a fabulous community so okay I think that's it on to the week and I'm hoping to shed a little bit this week and bring my weight down under 245 I want to break below 245 and I have some other exciting goals that are coming up for the next few weeks, but I'm waiting until after D Disneyland to unveil those, and so um, I'll share those with you in the coming weeks. But anyway, thank you everybody. Don't forget about Stick'em, T-W-L-D. We can do it as the password. If you don't see the room, go in and create it and use the same password. We can do it. If you sit in there for a little bit and you're busy on the computer or making dinner or doing something else, come back and check the page every now and then. Someone might be sitting there waiting to chat with you. It's a lot of fun. I'll be in there several times this week, so um, hope to see some of you in there. All right, have a great week, everyone. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.